For Team 20 of the Senior Project, we were tasked to create a levered manhole cover remover for TNT Tools out of Zeeland, Michigan. Currently, TNT Tools sells soil probes along with manhole cover removing hooks. However, this manhole cover removing hooks design has not changed in a number of years, and ergonomics applied to the design while being used by construction and municipal workers can cause back strain. Therefore, a mechanical advantage was desired for this project. Also, no electronics were intended for the final design, thereby a fully mechanical design was intended. The chassis subassembly acts as the center of this design, with support plates on the side housing the slot hook and the wheels. Here, the pick arm subassembly and the end arm assembly are placed for proper utilization of the tool. The third and final subassembly is the handle subassembly. Here, two lower handle pieces, also 1.5 inch outer diameter with quarter inch wall thickness, are housed around a 6 inch 1020 cold roll piece of steel for the handle adapter. Here, clevis pins are placed in the handle sections along with the lever holder for collapsibility and portability of the design. Following the final creation of this levered manhole cover remover, a number of tests were conducted to verify the specifications previously established. Here, a test stand needed to be made for the horse for the force limits and the lifting tests. Additionally, a small test setup needed to be conducted for the tipping test of the degree specification for this design. However, the other specifications were mostly encompassed in the design work and the calculations done on the different components for this final design. After the test stand was created, the final concept was then tested on said test stand. Here, the force limit for a vertical lift resulted in around a 45 pound force, which is below the 64 pound force specified in the specifications. For horizontal lifting, a very low force of around 5 pound force was found. This is below the specification limit as well. In the tipping test, stability was found up to the 10 degree incline. Having a fully assembled and verified final levered manhole cover remover, the device was used on a variety of manhole cover types. Here, lifting is done in the slot style method and the pick hole style method. Additionally, the device was tested for assembly and disassembly time on site. Here, the device is assumed to be in the full constrained envelope size. The user would take out the clevis pin Reinsert the end piece of the user lever, place the clevis pin through the insert and the outer diameter of the tube, and then, if needed, rotate down their pick hole arm assembly. After prototyping and creating the final levered manhole cover design, some design considerations were included. First off, a winged axle was selected. This axle type reduced the overall stress and proved easy to create. Additionally, button head cap screws were used to fasten the chassis side plates together, along with clevis pins. This screw type was selected for the high contact face area and a lower resulting stress area when compared to other bolt types. Another consideration comes at the six inch overall length of the 1020 steel insert. Initially, this insert was much shorter around two inches overall. However, lengthening of the insert reduced stress in the aluminum contact and the steel insert, while also barely increasing the bill of material cost. Furthermore, mathematical analysis was used to verify different components of the design. Some of these verification include a bending moment with stress calculations and force at point locations. These ensured that the design would live up to the specification for fatigue life and the cycle limit.
Additionally, this design should be able to be manufactured by TNT tools with their in-house manufacturing capabilities and perform to the full list of specifications as shown next. After this product's inception, specifications were generated to constrain the project. This first specification is a max weight of a manhole cover. After research, a 175 pound manhole cover was deemed the max weight for this project. The next specification touches on manhole clearance, and this is the amount that the manhole cover lip is raised from its base in the manhole cover position. Three inches was deemed the minimum for this specification. The next two specifications are around the force application for the device. A horizontal force of 24 pound force was a maximum limit alongside a 64 pound force maximum limit for vertical testing. These values were sourced from the Canadian OSHA document as no applicable US standards were found with numerical values for force limits. The next specification incorporates an envelope size for the clap's final design. Here, a six by two by two foot box was deemed applicable for the final design. This allows the design to be easily transported. Additionally, for transportation, a weight constraint was specified. Here, a 30 pound max weight for the design was selected. Next, in transporting and moving the manhole cover, stability up to 10 degrees was required. Next, for life expectations of the design, the max stress in all the components were required to be less than the fatigue strength at 10,000 cycles. Furthermore, assembly and disassembly time on site were considered. Here, a three minute max requirement for setup and disassembly was specified. Next, as specified from the sponsor, a project budget of $5,000 was constrained to this project. Another specification is the final BOM cost per 100 piece run. This essentially incorporates all the raw materials going into the final design. The sponsor desired a 100 run BOM cost of under $150. Finally, the only optional requirement for this project was the ability to lift a pick hole style cover. Here, the same weight specification for a manhole was applied. With these specifications in mind, the first semester followed a bit of a deviation from the standard senior project format. For Team 20, a majority of the first semester was spent ideating and prototyping solutions to lift a manhole cover. From this stage, a few prototypes were decided upon. Here, a compound lever prototype was selected, a tripod lifter, a seated lever, and a hinged folding lever were all prototyped ideas. However, each of these components introduced some complications, and upon further testing, feasibility of these designs were not deemed applicable for the constraints and specifications of the project. Eventually, a final design was decided upon. This design essentially is a levered manhole cover remover with a pick hole arm to lift the optional specifications of pick hole style manhole covers with a bent slot hook to lift slot style manhole covers. The arm is detachable halfway through the total length to incorporate envelope size and the pick arm is foldable to also incorporate an envelope size specification. Throughout the course of this project, the team was constantly working to optimize the design. This involved numerous in-person meetings with associated faculty and references to previous coursework literature. Ultimately, the final prototype design along with all the detailed documents included in the creation of the design will be delivered to TNT Tools. Thank you and have a good one GVSU.